A local star of Married to Medicine claims her family is being discriminated against because of the coronavirus. Astrid in the ATL spoke with the Metro Atlanta resident. So if you ever watch the show Married to Medicine, then you know that in order to be on the show, you either have to be a doctor or be married to one. One of the couples I spoke with is working in the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, and they thought that they were going to get compassion, but instead they say they're being harassed by the property management and the community they live in. The last time we Calm finished down, this baby. conversation, Calm you down. said Calm you down. were going to support me. Calm. You may know this married couple from their stint on Bravo's show, Married to Medicine. Can we talk without yelling? Currently, Dr. Darren Nagels is an emergency medicine say? doctor at Northside Hospital. And uh, every day he's on the front line seeing patients that are you know, suffering from symptoms for COVID-19. To stay safe, his wife, Lisa yes. Cloud, and her husband wanted to she take proper measures at home. Uh, the other day, he, there was a patient that came in and they tested positive. So naturally, we started putting in protocols within our home to make sure that, you know, we disinfected everything. We even wanted to disinfect the carpets. But Lisa says the carpet cleaners were blocked from entering the community. While Darren's job is to save lives, Lisa says it's also costing them compassion and understanding from the community they live in. So I went into the office to take care of it. At that point is when they were just rude. The lady uh, was telling me to hush my mouth. Um, she told me if I didn't leave the office because my husband had been exposed to COVID-19, she was going to call security. Lisa says her husband has never personally treated a coronavirus positive patient himself, but regardless, security and police were called. Since the altercation, the couple received this letter from the complex, restricting their access to areas of the community. I can't even go into the office to try to resolve a bill without them threatening to call security on me. And it's just enough is enough. You know, we're in a pandemic right now. We should be all working together, trying to keep our community safe and trying to uh, figure out how we deal with this national crisis and not harassing residents. Now, I did reach out to the property management community and they did reply to me in a letter telling me that they are taking the precautions to make sure that the rest of the residents are safe. And from the conversation they had with the tenants, they believe that they were highly at risk and recommend that they stay in quarantine for 14 days. From then on, they will give them access to the rest of the community. That's all for Astrid in the ATL.